Lord. Shalom. 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 Uh, we're gonna start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Kadosh. Yahweh is the true name of every follower, the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of every follower, only God's Son. The world refers to Jesus Christ. Ba'ashem is in the name of Kadosh, the Holy Spirit, and also Shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. And Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening. And all uh and maybe listening and all truth and sincerity. Uh shallow long and also uh double honors uh to the apostles and others of Great Millstone. Uh those are true leaders of the nation of Israel. You know, we come back here, uh GMS Salt, GMS West Palm Beach, you know, coming back here with another uh video through the spirit and power of Yah by Shin Al Shai. Uh Lord will in this video uh be titled uh Forsake or what was it? Uh Neglect Neglect Not uh Fellowship. Okay, because you know it's it's important to not you know because being around brothers you know scripture says you know uh, we shall we shall desire to see you know one another you know uh, and in second Ezra you know so it's good to to soak up you know the the righteous energy you know so to speak you know uh, while, while while we can you know and uh, and brother was saying like this is part of our uh, this is part of our heritage man you know heritage or religion this is part of our heritage. You know, to be fellowshipping, you know, uh, Psalm 133, uh, you know. So uh, we're going to grab, grab a few precepts and uh, Lord willing to be his head up on it. Uh, man, hey, that's the spirit, bro. Uh, I want to get that one. Oh, here in another point. This is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 16 and verse 27. And it says, uh, let me start actually at verse... 22 it says for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy so this is the coming destruction that's down the pipeline man it says that the dead shall be cast out as dung and there shall be no man to comfort them for the earth shall be wasted and the city shall be cast down going into the times of Jacob's trouble you know that we're approaching there shall be no man left to till the earth and to sow it the trees shall give the give fruit and who shall gather them the grapes shall ripen, and who shall tread them? For all places shall be desolate of men. So in these times that we're coming into, a lot of uh, places now that have a high population of people are getting ready to be ghost towns, man. So ain't no telling, you know, where you're going to be at in Jacob's trouble. Scripture said we're going to be as pilgrims upon the earth. So you might be with a brother, you might not, man. Okay? And that's why we always say, Lord willing, you know? And it says, verse 27, So that one man shall desire to see another and to hear his voice you see so you're gonna so you never know in Jacob's trouble you might not be with brother man so you know you'll be at times where you desire or to see another brother you know hear a brother man okay and uh, that's why you got to cherish fellowship now you know verse 28 for of a city there shall be 10 left and two of the field who shall hide themselves in the thick groves and in the clefts of the rocks man you know so a uh, big city is going to be a population of 10 people man that's the type of ghost town status we're talking about in Jacob's trouble man I also just wanted to get that through the spirit. Uh, this is uh, Hebrews chapter 10 and uh, verse 21, I mean 25, I'm sorry, 24. It says, let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together as the manner of some is, you know, so we can't take, we can't take this for granted. You know, we can't take, you know, us gathering together, you know, because when we have a spiritual conversation, you know, it's a lot of edification that, that's, that's going out. You know, it, it can be topics for lessons, you know, things to, uh, that you can take on, to, you can use that in your day-to-day -day life. Right. And it says, uh, as some, says, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as ye see the day approaching, all right, because right. we see the day of Yahweh Shri Yahweh Shah approaching. Right. Okay, so we can't forsake you know, uh, join it together, okay, is, like I said, in uh, Psalm 103, Psalm 133, you know, Behold, oh, I got love. It. Copy. Psalm 133 and 1, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Cool. It says, It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garments, as the dew of Hermon, as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord Yahweh commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. 
Right, so that, that, that unity, man, it's like, you know, when that oil running down your beard, you know, it's a good feeling, man. Okay, so you can't forsake that, man. All right. And it also said how there the Lord commanded the blessing, man. You know, so when fe to fellowship around brothers is the blessing. You know, Scripture say where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst, man. You know, so, you know, when you're around brothers, man, and you're in the spirit, you feel the presence of Yahweh Bashem Shai in the midst, man. And that is a blessing. This is Proverbs chapter 27, Proverbs 27 and 17. Iron sharpened iron, so a man, so a man sharpened the countenance of his friend. You know, and that's the benefit of uh, fellowship, okay? Because, you know, if brothers are, are catching hell during the week, all right, we're going through affliction, and, you know, we 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 be uh, renewed or, or regenerated, you know, we, 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 we catch our second wind, you know, when brothers are, are around one another, okay, our, our our spirits gets uplifted, okay, brothers brothers be more in the spirit, you know, and that's and that's and that's why it's important the fellowship, okay, because sometimes you know, like the brother uh, out of one, you know, he be sharpening his iron. I mean, he be sharpening his his, uh, his knife blade, okay. So, so sometimes you know, iron it, it, it gets dull, you know, but we, we we are considered like iron, so you know, I might be low in the spirit you know when i come around you know the brothers and you know next thing you know um uh, you know I'm, I'm 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 uplifted you know and that's the importance of uh fellowship and then you know um during the week calling up brothers you know because a brother could be down in the spirit but you give him a, a phone call and the next thing you know he's saying like he, he, he's like the one of y'all watching outside you know you uplifted my spirit uh, you know that's right yeah. hey i had a preacher to back you up too um this is a. Uh, Proverbs 13, so like this. Proverbs 13 and 20, he that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. You know, so he that walketh with wise men shall be wise. If you hang out with wise men, you're going to be wise too. You know, if you be a companion of wise men, you're going to be wise too. You see? So, you know, it, when you surround yourself around men of Yahweh Bashmah Shai, okay, then that's going to uh, uh, uplift your spirit like a brother was saying, man. You know, scripture say be continually with a godly man. You know, and where the footsteps of his doom. Yep. B times, go B times on him. I don't find I'm going to bring out that uh, Sarah. Papa Kusha. It's uh, Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter 25. And I uh, started at the top. I'm going to start at the top, right? Papa Kusha. Uh, it says, In three things I was beautified and stood up beautiful both before the Most High and men, the unity of brethren. The love of neighbors, a man and a wife that agree together. Ah, uh, man. So, right there, those those are things that are beautiful before you be out watching shine, man. You know, the unity of brethren, man. Okay, that was the first thing on the list, man. You know, so you have is well pleased with when brothers fellowship and get together in the spirit and show that blood that, that brotherly love, man. You know, the, what the two greatest commandments is to love the Lord with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself, man. You know. More importantly, you know, unity, you know, in one mind. God, because okay, if you unify in, in in two different minds, you know, that's that's not that, that's that's going against the scriptures, right? right? So us unifying, you know, that's good, you know, but us unifying in, in one mind, you know, that's that's more important, right? And uh, verse two it says, three sorts of men my soul hateth, and I am greatly offended at their life: a poor man that is proud, a rich man that is a liar. And an old and an old adulterer that doeth it. If thou hast gathered nothing in thy youth, how canst thou find anything in thine age? Uh, that's, uh, verse four. Yeah. Yeah, it says, "How, how comely a thing is judgment for gray hairs, and for ancient men to know counsel." You know, because we are we are like ancient men. You know, through the spirit. You know, and we we counsel together. Uh, is it uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and 9 two, two are better than one because they have a good reward for their la for their labor you know and it's not like Apostle Kabar made uh, less than yesterday you know we not it's not no lone wolf thing okay and, you know even like the symbol of, of Israel uh, the, the lion the lion the lion they they, they move in a pack you know that they, they have the um, they have the male lion, then they have the female lions. The female lions they go out and do the hunting. You know, and even like wolves, 
wolves they they um they they uh excel when they in that pack you know because one wolf you know is it, it, it's not going to survive by itself but when that wolf is in that pack you know they, they they're stronger together and that's that's how we are through the spirit we stronger when we like the brother said when we come together in one in one mind all right and, and we um unified together you know in spirit and in truth okay it says verse 10 for if they fall the one will lift up his fellow but woe to him that is alone when he followed when he followed for he have not another to help him up you know and even yahweh Shai, the greatest man ever walked the earth you know he had help okay he had he had uh, disciples uh, you know he had the 12 disciples you know so yahweh Shai is as great as a man that he was you know he, he even had help in this truth you know so how much how much more us man you know and that's why it's important you know to congregate you know and and uh and to be around the brothers man you know because we we, we can't do this by ourselves you know where's the balance of everything the scripture says you know every man work out their own salvation with fear and trembling you know but but we we alone we we alone um we we, we together um down that down that path you know you, you walk in that straight and narrow you know a brother's encourage you hey you know keep fighting keep pushing right. you know when you're getting weary you know those phone calls or you fellowshipping with brothers that that um you know how you play like the game and you down uh you you low on life yep. you know and you get that uh you get that extra life and now you reboost it yep. you know yep. oh hey that's the spirit bro i gotta you read the verse now yeah nine and ten okay. hey that's that's the spirit um it's like i got a priest to back you up this is a uh, proverbs 11 and verse 14 it says where no counsel is the people fall but in the multitude of counselors there is safety you know so through the spirit like the brother mentioned earlier like we're counselors man and so through the multitude of counselors you know there's safety man meaning that when you got a bunch of brothers around who are one mind one accord who know the judges the abash mashai that can keep you uh safe from danger man through the spirit and you even peep that when people get around camp they'd be like I feel so safe here. Right, right. You know, right. when they come to the camp, they feel safe because it's why it's a multitude of counselors, man. So how much more when you are going through spiritual attacks and you got brothers around who are in the spirit who, who know, you know what I'm saying, who got the spirit right. on them, you know, that's going to keep you safe, man. The other day I had, you know, spiritual attack, man. I'm, I'm telling the brother, I'm like, man, I ain't going to lie. You know, Jake felt like, you know what I'm saying, I was off that day, man. And the brother was like, nah, you good. Huh? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the brother encouraged me, man, through the spirit. So what if I was alone that day, you know, and then demons just kept eating at my mind, you know, that's why it's like fellowship is good, man. Yeah. But another thing too, when you fellowship, there's a standard that has to be set too, man. You can't just uh, expect to come around the brothers and conduct yourself any type of way, man. You know, scriptures also say, lay hands on no man suddenly, you know, so you gotta be proven before you get, before you get the fellowship around brothers, man. And so but I'm saying that to say that fellowshipping is a privilege, man. You know, just not anybody could walk with Yahweh Shai. There was a dude that Yahweh Shai healed, and he wanted to walk with Yahweh Shai, but Yahweh Shai told him, no, go tell him what I did for you. You know, and that was all set up through the spirit, but still, you know, it, it's a certain standard amongst the brothers, man, because you got to understand, you know, when you're amongst brethren, you're around the ambassadors of Yahweh Bashem Shai. That's not a light thing, you know, so you have to move with a certain level of respect, you know. Can't just pull up on a man of the Lord no type of way. You know what I mean? All right, that's uh, First Timothy chapter five and uh, I'll start at verse twenty-one. Uh, First Timothy five and twenty-one it says, "I charge thee before the Most High and the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach and the elect angels that thou obtain that like it, that thou observe these things without preferring." One before another, doing nothing by partiality. Con. And that's and that's heavy right there too. Doing nothing by partiality. You know, you're not using fair judgment. You know what I'm saying? And in this moment you you could pick you could cherry pick and be what she wants to hear, and another moment you being strict and stern. No, you gotta be, you know, using just ways, just balance, just judgment all around the board, man. You know? Verse twenty two says, Lay hands suddenly on no man. Neither be partaker of other men's sins. Keep thyself pure. Right. So we can't, you know, you can't, you know, just because a brother may seem, you know, he may seem promising, you know, that on that first go around, 
okay you know you you never know a person you know you gotta you gotta you gotta get to know them uh i know the scriptures i know there's more scriptures on that yeah uh sirach six and seven yeah you want me to get it Con Sirach six and seven it says that thou wouldest get a friend prove him first All right prove we gotta prove we gotta prove somebody man because you know somebody can be on fire you know you know but but once like uh once affliction or, or persecution or trials come you know it's like that uh that prayer boy matthew you know they're gonna uh sown on, sown on stony ground mm -hmm. you know so you can't be hasty to credit somebody you gotta you gotta you gotta prove them first yeah i, I was trying he do that to us too because you know when you first come into the truth Ooh. you know hey the lord he gonna throw you know different uh afflictions and different uh tribulation that at you you know to see if you're gonna uh, are you gonna st stay firm you know are you gonna continue to serve them you know and that, that's, it's really called like a initiation process uh, you know i got that scripture back you up this is rock pds is 4 and 17 it says, for at the first you will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with her discipline until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. You know, so when you first come in this thing, wisdom tries you. You get tormented with the Lord's discipline, man. Until, you know, you, the Lord put the spirit on you to kind of kick it into the second gear and the truth, so to speak, and you take it more seriously, you know what I'm saying? So when you first come in, you be... You know, like brother said, lie, you, do your de you do your lesson, la di la di la after that, you know? But then after that, the Lord start putting that fire in the eyes and the spirit, and then you start to realize, okay, this truth ain't no joke, you know what I'm saying? Verse 18, then will she return the straight way unto him and comfort him and show him her secrets. You know, so the spirit starts to self with you. You know, you start to grow in the spirit. You start to see your Howashai spirit grow in you. You know what I'm saying? You start to get older in the, in the faith, you get more discernment, you know what I'm saying? So that's wisdom showing you her secrets. You know, then it says verse 19. But if he go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. You know, so, you know, if you ain't, if you neglecting this truth, you go wrong, you fall out or whatever, wisdom going to leave you. She's going to give you over to your own ruin, man. You know, and you might not come back. You know what I'm saying? That's why the Lord is constantly proving us. This, and we got to constantly prove ourselves, you know. It's like your Jake rambling, but Jake kind of got a few things to say you know what i'm saying we gonna have to uh constantly prove ourselves second corinthians 13 and 5 examine yourselves whether you be in the faith man so you know we proving ourselves too i gotta preach so this is matthew 18 and 20 for where two or three are gathered together in my name there am i in the midst of them you know and that's why i'm so peaceful being around the brothers you know because when two or three are gathered you know yahweh he's there you know and you know even when we by ourselves, you know, the spirit is still, you know, sucking with us. But, you know, when we get around brothers, hey, you know, it's like a, it's like an extra level, you know, in the, uh, in the spirit, yeah. you know. Uh, I have that uh, parable of Matthew, Matthew uh, 13 and uh, verse 20 says, But he that received the seed at the stony places, the same as he that heareth the word and, and I'm with joy receive it, you know, so we... You know, we've seen a, a few people, you know, receive this truth, you know, happy. And they may cut their dreads. You know, they may stop getting lineups right away. You know, but this is what happens to some. Verse 21, yet have he no root in himself. So he's not fully grounded. You know, that's that That's that trial period, man. It says, but dure for a while. For when tribulation or persecution ariseth because of the word, by and by he is offended. You know, so a lot of men, you know, they may, they may come in, you know, they, they may come in hot, you know, but the, the the race is not for the swift, man. Okay, so just because somebody may come in hot, they, they may burn out. You know, that's why, that's why it's, you know, like Apostle Tara uh, said, like six months, you know, six months, you should start doing videos. You know, that's that's really that, that trial period, six months, half of a year, you know, then you, you, you can see if somebody is fully, you know, persuaded in our mind or not. Quick precept bouncing off of you. This is Matthew 7 and 24. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken unto him, I will liken unto him, I mean, unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And that rock is uh, representing Yahweh Shai. And that's that's how we're going to be saved, you know, through the through the mercy and power of, of, of Yahweh Shai. All right, it says verse 25. 
and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock so it says the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and that's a, that's symbolic for uh tribulation right trials and tribulations being thrown your way you know so your first year your first two years in the truth you know that can be your hardest time in in, in the truth man because yep. they like the, like the brother said wisdom uh, walking by you by crooked ways. Yep, yep. You know, torments you with her discipline. Torment, yeah, torments you with her discipline. So, hey, your first year or two in the truth, hey, that's that. Uh, hey, you you gonna catch up? Yeah. Okay. Your family, you know, you gonna have problems with your family. You know, your mom, your pops, if they, if they not in the truth, your brother, your sister. All right, your woman might leave you. You know, children might separate. You know, from you. You know, but it's it's all to see if you're gonna endure. Okay, and it says, verse 26, And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended with those trials and tribulations. Okay, and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house. You know, what's spiritual is our temple is our house. You know, and it says, And it fell and great was the fall of it. Right, you know, and it, that's that's because, you know, man coming to this truth and their foundation is not uh, built upon that rock, which is Yahweh Shai. They ain't, they ain't counting the cost. The scripture said, you know, speak about uh, counting the cost, man. All right, Syrac 2 and 1, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare your soul for temptation. So you got to be prepared, you know, to go through things, man. And that's why 2 Timothy 2 and 3 says, endure hardness as a good soldier. All right, for Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, you know, we fight in. You know, for your high boss now, all right, and for our crowns, man. That's right, huh? That's right. All right, uh, Second Timothy, uh, chapter two, starting at verse nineteen. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High standeth sure, having this seal: the Lord knoweth them that are His, and let every one that nameth the name of a Mashiach depart from iniquity. So. The, the foundation of, of, of Yahweh Shemiah Shai is a, it's a sure foundation, man. It's solid. Built upon a rock, Yahweh Shai. Yeah. And it says, verse 20, And in the great house there are not only vessels of gold and silver, and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and meat for the master's use. Okay, we want to be, we want to be, uh, we want to be usable, you know, uh, for our master, you know, which is Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, uh, a vessel unto honor, because a uh, vessel unto dishonor, you know, you 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 you're, you're pretty much useless. Yeah. All right, and uh, finish that off. It says, and meat for the master's use, and prepare it unto every good work. You know, so we want to uh, going back to examine ourselves. You know, if we're, if we're examining ourselves, you know, being diligent, uh, being diligent, uh, diligent, diligent, you know, in this thing, you know, then we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be usable uh, for for Yahweh by Shema Shai, man. We're gonna be vessels unto honor, man. Okay, vessels unto dishonor. You know, first starting off with uh, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Okay, two thirds of our people are our vessels unto dishonor as well, man. I had a. Um precept kind of going back onto like trying men you know because there's a spirit why you said it's the trial of men i got this precept right here this is rock ecclesiastes 27 and verse 7 it says praise no man before thou hearest him speak for this is the trial of men you know so you could you could use this for surface value as you know pretty much uh, understand first before you rebuke but in a way you can use that too uh when it comes to proving proving individuals man you know you can't just be too quick to credit people man it says so the scriptures say how uh, the tongue through the, the, the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaking, you know, so pretty much what's on an individual's mind, that's what they're going to speak, right? You know, and just like what's in an individual's heart, that's how they're going to conduct themselves, man. You know, a person's going to walk out and talk, so to speak. So you got to try an individual, you know, before you praise them, man. You know, just going back onto trying a man first, you know. Uh, you know what, though? Segwaying off of that, got a quick precept, Lord willing, go to the book of Hebrews. Oh, you guys want to go on? Go ahead. I'll... I was going to bounce off of you real quick. Oh, come on, come on. Uh, this Hebrews 12 and 6, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourged every son whom he receiveth. You see? 
And it says, if ye endure chastening, Yahweh deals with you as with sons, you know? So, hey, you know, we, we got to endure chastening, all right? Because we, we deserve it anyway, you know? And, and, we, and we deserve death, you know? But the Lord is, is chastising us less than what we really deserve, you know? We, we really deserve death, all right? But the Lord is having mercy upon us. It says, for what son is he whom the father chastens not? You know, and, and even going back to Sirach 30 and 3, you know, the Lord says, um, let me get this, get it real quick. Let's, you know, because that's really, that's really uh, the law. That's really our, uh, a part of our religion is chastising our children. Okay. And this is uh, Sirach 30 and 1. He that loveth his son, cause him off to feel the rod that he may have joy of him in the end. You know, and that's the same way that Yahweh Shemar Shah is doing unto us. Are he chastising us? Why? So we he can ultimately in um, uh, he can ultimately enjoy us in the end. Okay. So let's read uh, Hebrews twelve and eight. But if ye be without chastisement, whereof are all partakers? Then are ye bastards and not sons? You know, and two thirds of our people they fall into that category. A bastard is, is a is a uh, fatherless uh, a, a, a son without a father. Yep. You know. So it says, but if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are all partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons, you know? And that's why, you know, two thirds of our people, they're not gonna be saved because they're not, they're, they, they're physical, um, physically they're, they're sons of God, but spiritually they not, you know? Cause they, they got the mind of, of Esau and Edom, you know? Right. And what the scripture say, a bastard shall not enter to the congregation of the Lord. Yep. You know, so the chastisement that we are going through, man, hey, it's necessary because you don't want to be a bastard, man. All right? The Lord going to spew you out of his mouth, so to speak. And sometimes even amongst dealing amongst the brethren, you go through chastisement. A brother might, and that's another thing that comes with fellowshipping and the brotherhood, being able to take rebuke, man. Okay? There will be days where you get chewed out, man. Okay? Where you can't get emotional. You know, and, and try to justify yourself, man. Because more than likely, you're already wrong. You know, that's why the Lord put in the spirit for brothers to rebuke you, man. So instead of being quick to justify yourself and be like, well, I did this because that, that, that. Just listen first, man. You know, because the Lord, he speaks through men. You know, so, and he, and brothers ain't just men of the Lord when when they're when they're praising you. Brothers are men of the Lord when they're rebuking you too, man. Yep. Uh, can I get a quick precept before we get to ours? Uh, this is Ezra's, uh, Salaka. Ezra. Chapter 9 and verse 13, and after all that is come upon us for our evil deeds and for our great trespass, seeing that seeing that thou our power has punished us less than our iniquities deserve, and has given us such deliverance as this. You know, so it's backing up, you know, what I said. You know, I just want to bring that out to the spirit because you know we 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 went off in this life. Okay, it don't matter if you came into the truth when you was 14. Guess what? That's 14 years of going off. Yep. You came into the truth when you was 26. That's 26 years of your life um, um, going off. Okay, right. and not only in this life have we went off in our past lives, right. you know, and that's why we got to pray and ask for you how Bashanar Shah have mercy on us, man. You know, and like, like it says in Micah, I will bear the indignation of Yahweh Bashanar Shah yeah. because I have sinned against him. We sinned against Yahweh Bashanar Shah, you know, and if you. Um, came into this truth and you fell out. You really don't deserve um, the kingdom of heaven, man. You know. It's gonna be crazy enough, the spirit. Uh, I feel. Hey, that's why a lot of them ain't gonna get the kingdom of heaven. You know, because they put Yahweh shot to open shame, man. They didn't want to fellowship with the spirit yep. of Yahweh shot. Yep. You know. We don't got nowhere to go. Right. You know? <laughs> Peter said that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Where Where shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. You know, to whom shall we go with the water of life? Yeah, but uh, a dog returned back to a vomit. You know, hey, this world is is through, you know? I'd rather die, you know, than go back into this world, man. You know? Because what's in this world? Nothing but, but vanity. All right? Vexation of spirit. All right? You got trannies everywhere, man. It's gay pride month, so it, it ain't nowhere to go. You, you might as well just stay, you know, where we at, man. We in the best uh, spot that there can be anyway. Yeah. Well, I had a precept on a uh, rebuke uh, real quick. Proverbs 9 and 8. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, he will love thee. Right. Give instruction to a wise man, and he will yet be wiser. 
TJ just man and he will yet uh so like it TJ just man and he will increase in learning. You know, so and, and that's a part of, of fellowship as well, you know. So like brother said, you know, we're not men of the Lord just when we uh praising one another, but also when we uh rebuking one another. You gotta be able to uh to take correction. Okay, and understand that that it's coming from the Lord. Okay, you can't be uh you can't uh be bent out of shape, you know, because brothers are are, are correcting you on your actions. Okay, you gotta you gotta take it and then and then uh and then uh increase. Yep. Hey, cause Babylon taught us to live life without correction or without a guide, you yeah, know? Do as I will. Right. <laughs> you know, and, and, and I remember I used to work for Starbucks. And they used to like tell us not to correct the customers. Like they would tell us like when a customer asks for a certain size cup, don't correct them on it. And like I understand the sentiment behind it, but it's just like it's really through, you know what I'm saying? Because what's wrong with correction? You know, scripture says stripes and correction are never out of time, you know? I'm kind of the point, though. Uh, got a precept? All right, Con, this is a. Uh, I'm going to look at Acts, Lord willing. I'll get it for you. For Water Malak. Acts uh, 2. 2. Hey, scripture says things written aforetime written for our learning, you know? So everything written in the scriptures, we can learn from it. 44? Uh, you can start at 42. 42? 42. Oh. Okay, come on. It's Acts chapter 2 and 42. And they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. Yep, and that's talking about the disciples, man, the apostles. It said they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine. All right, and a part of the doctrine is fellowship. Mm -hmm. And it says, and fellowship. Okay, and in breaking of bread and in prayers, man. So, you know, that's what we are to be doing continually, man, steadfastly, okay? Like And like the brother brought out at the beginning, well, Hebrews 10, hey, let's well, say, uh, as so much the more as you see the day approaching, you know? So as you see all hell breaking loose, you should be wanting to linger with brothers more and more and more, man, you know? And of course, everything's balanced, but nonetheless, as much as you can, you know? Verse uh, 43, and fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. Yeah, and that's what's and that what happened back then. Okay, with they did miracles through the name of Yahweh Shmashai. And guess what? That's gonna happen again, man. You're gonna see brothers doing uh, uh many wondrous works again, man. Okay, where it's gonna make the fear of Yahweh Shmashai come upon the people when they see him. Like the scripture say, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, man. All right, Yahweh Shmashai is gonna put his fear uh, uh, upon these people through his men, you know, through, through the brothers. Okay, just like what happened back then. Yahweh just said we're going to do greater works than he did because he goes into his father, man. You know, and a part of those fearful works and those wondrous works is doing this work, doing doing the truth. You know, this truth really does put you on a level, man. I was meditating on that today, man. You know, when you got the Holy Spirit on you, man, it, it really does set you apart from the rest of this world. Uh, keep going. All right, Con. Right, Acts two and forty four, and all that believed were together. And had all things common, and sold their possessions and goods, and parted them to all men, as every man have have need. Yep, and that's another thing about fellowship. Okay, being willing to help the brethren out with your resources, man. You know, not being stingy. Okay, you know, if a brother need help, okay, we all have all things in common. Like for instance, you know, I bet I can ask this brother right now. Oh, can I borrow incense, Bible for Sean? He's gonna say common, and vice versa. If he asks me. Hey, I you got a lighter, so I got a lighter incense. Con, right? that's how that's how fellowship is supposed to be. That's how brotherhood is supposed to be, man. We're all like a, it's, it's like it's like a, a a business, you know, business. Uh, most of the time, business partners, what do they do? They share their tools with each other, man, so that the job can get done. So it's the same thing in the spirit, you know. We share our goods, we part our goods to every man have need, man. You know, we're not holding back our possessions from the brethren, man. Because that also comes with fellowship. As being a niggar, as Christian says, uh, money is not comely to a niggar, I'm right? You know, a niggar is going to somebody that's stingy. Yep. And the Lord also knows when you're using brothers too. You know, I've been meditating on this lately and I wanted to mention that, you know, because that's the balance. Just because brothers are willing to share their things, all right, don't mean that you would be a niggar, you know? Because you could be a niggar when it comes to using brothers' things, man. Let's just sure say, uh, be not uh I, I don't want to roughly paraphrase too bad but it says like stretch for stretch not forth thy hand 
Oh yeah, then when it's your turn, you exactly. Oh yeah. Uh, this is First Corinthians thirteen and two, and though I have the gift of prophecy, and understand all mysteries, and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove, I mean, remove mountains, and have not charity, I am nothing. You know. So uh, having charity, you know, is very important. Because scriptures right. also say charity covers a multitude of sins, you know. So hey, you, you can prophesy, all right, you can be the best speaker. You know, you can know all the breakdown. But hey, the Lord says if you don't have charity, you know, you have nothing. It's, right. It's one I think it's in that same chapter, like charity is above all. Oh, I was looking for that one too. I, let, me, let me see. This is the one I came up with, charity is above all. Hey, and, and another thing too, man, you know, you gotta look at it like this: How you treat every brother is how you would treat your house shy, man. You know, so, so always be mindful of that, man. So if you use it from a brother, Colossians, you use it from your house shy, man. You know, uh, Colossians uh, three and fourteen. Uh, I'm trying to grab that one, but well, no, it's not that. It, but it's, it's, I know, I know. There's one like that. It so. says, uh, "Charity greater all." You know, because you know, our our example is Yahweh Shah. Okay, Yahweh Shah, he 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 laid down his life for the nation of Israel. You know, Yahweh Shah is our is our uh, role model, so to speak. You know, and and that's that's how we got to come in, in the spirit of, of um, Yahweh Shah. All right. Is it First Corinthians thirteen thirteen? And now abide the faith, hope, charity. These three, but the greatest of these is charity. Is that what y'all took for? Uh, was it 13? 13 and 13? Hey, man, that's, 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 oh, a, that's, that's a part of, that's, that's, that's a part of, um, you know, becoming that new creature, you know? It, this world, you know, teaches you it's all about greed, you know? This, 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 these people in this world, they're, they're, they're uh, sacrifice, you know, their friends, their loved ones, mm -hmm. you know? You know, but the scripture says, you know, precious is, those who lay down their life for their friends. Right, right. right. You know? yep. This truth teaches us you know, how to be uh, selfless. Selfless. Yeah. Uh, I think I got a preset to back you up too. Sirach 7 and 18. I'll let you go first, Bill. That Sirach? Yeah. How come Sirach used one? Uh, Sirach 4 and 31. Let not thine hand be stretched out to receive and shut when thou shouldest, re when thou shouldest repay. Yep. You know, so you always got your hand out, you know, because you're ready to receive gifts from brothers. Okay, but when it's your time, when it's on your spirit to uh, to be charitable, you not you not uh, you not uh, putting forth that spirit that the Lord put on you. You know that's a problem in the eyes of the Lord. The eye, the, uh, and the Lord sees that. Yep. What they call it in the world, a leech. A leech. Yep. 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 Now, how much more should I see that? Yep. I got a piece of the back deal too about you saying somebody sell them out, sell a person out for money. So Ecclesiastes 7 and 18, change not a friend for any good by no means, neither a faithful brother for the gold of Ophir. And that's another thing too, you know, you being in that uh, leech spirit, you know, you want to, that's pretty much you selling out a brother for money, you know, because here it is, you, you taking that brother's money or you taking that brother's resources, whatever it might be. But when it's time for you to pay it back, you don't want to do that no more, man. So you're pretty much choosing Ophir, you're choosing gold over your brother, man. Yeah. And even if you want to take it a net, another step further, okay, you got you're gonna have some dudes who claim they brethren, but they're gonna to try to sell the brothers out and snitch on the brothers when all hell breaks loose, man. Them Judas Iscariot has spirits; they're gonna come back in the earth, man, and they're around. That's what Judas Iscariot did. He for he for uh for go a faithful friend in Yahushai for silver, man. I got a uh, precept. This is Acts twenty and thirty five. I have shewed you all things how that so laboring ye ought to support the weak. And to remember the words of Yahweh Mashiach, how he said, "It is more blessed to give than to receive." Uh, you know, and it's not always, you know, always, you know, talking about you know money or giving, you know, people things. You know, that can be applied. You know, uh, I believe I heard an apostle say that. You know, it's nothing better than than to give than somebody your time. You know, yeah. You know, so you know you don't always gotta give you know you might not have money to give or you know food to give but you can give your time you can give you know to uh the spirit you know when it's on you you know to say certain thing the brothers you know uh pick up the phone you know and call them you know 
Yep, because that's the hey, that's some spiritual that spiritual shekels, yep. you know, that's the spirit, bro. Hey, and then even in that same chapter, what the apostle Paul just say a couple verses up, it says, verse thirty three, I have coveted no man's silver or gold or apparel, you know. So that's the spirit, bro. You can't be in that spirit of being covetous, man. And that's and that's a part of being a leader too. A, a leader, a leader is or a judge is not supposed to be taken by covetousness or bribes, man. You know, it's supposed to be of an honest report. So if resources make you shaky and iffy, man, then you're not fit to be a true judge, man. For real. Neither a true brother, man. You know, because you can't sell a brother out for no carnal for carnality, man. That's that's just off, man. It's off. But I'm saying that because these are all the things that come with fellowship, you know? Uh, uh, Proverbs eleven and one. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord Yahweh Shad. But a just weight is his delight. You know, so a false balance, you know, you can't be too 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 engulfed in, into this world. Okay, you gotta learn how to balance it out, you know, call brothers, check up on brothers, you know, spend time with brothers, you know, fellowship. Okay, because you know, yeah, we gotta we gotta deal with our daily lives, you know, our family, you know, you may have some worldly friends, okay, but you gotta you gotta, you gotta always find time in that balance. And what's that scripture you always quote? Cool? Like you gotta be uh, be aware of the time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because kind of, you, know, you gotta be aware of the time. You can't always. You, know, you gotta. You, you gotta know when it's time to. Uh, when it's time to clear it. You know, from uh, from 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 worldly things, man. Definitely. Okay. I'll read that for you too. In Sirach twenty-seven and twelve, if thou be among the indiscreet, observe the time, but be continually among men of understanding. Woo! You know, so you, you know, you, you've been telling with the. It ain't a certain time, you know, it's whenever the spirit, you know, uh, tells you, you know, you got to listen to that, to the spirit. But, you know, you look at the hour, uh, you look at the clock, you know, it's been an hour or two, you know, and the spirit's telling you, you know, hey, it's, you know, it's time to, you know, shake it, you know, it's time to go home. You know, you got to, you got to listen, you know. Yep. Hey, because being around worldly dudes can drain your spirit, man. Yep. It's crazy. They spiritual leeches. Yep. Spiritual leeches. Hot. <laughs> Shit. That ass. I got a quick precept. The Second Corinthians six and fourteen: Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion have light with darkness? You know, and this is all you know dealing with balance. You know, you can't you can't always be around you know niggas in the world, man. Okay, because you know what's their conversation like? They don't they don't want to hear about the scriptures. You know, and that's that, that's we eat, breathe the scriptures. You know? Right. We, we, we have, you know, quote unquote, uh, worldly conversation with brothers. You know, we might talk about sports or music, you know, but our conversation, you know, is always being filtered through the scriptures, yeah. you know? And it says, uh, and what communion have light with darkness? Right, because we, we're supposed to be separate. You know, you don't see a lion hanging out with the, uh, with, with the hyena. Yeah. Not, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the lion, you know, through the spirit is on, is on a higher level. You know, so that's how we gotta be. You know, you don't see sharks and and dolphins, you know, kicking it. You know, you know, that's in right. the kingdom they will. Yep. You know, but right. it doesn't. Right. You know, just but saying with the analogy. Yep. yep, yep, that's right. Hey, oh, what's it called? That's why that's another lesson through the spirit. But like, that's backing up that you can't bring everybody around. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, and and I've seen it in the spirit, bro. Sometimes the spirit literally keeps certain people away from the body, man. You know, because they're like that mold on that uh, fruit in the, in the in the bundle. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, that person. Okay, the scriptures say, "Be not deceived; evil communications corrupt good manners." I got that. I'm and gonna get it for you. Out. <laughs> it's Ephesians four and twenty nine. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. And I believe that word communication is going back into manner. Correct. Uh, manner of life. Manner of life. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. It says, "But that which is good to the use of edifying." That it may minister grace unto the hearers. Hey, so through the spirit, like it says, let no corrupt communication uh, communication come out of your mouth. So if you got a corrupt individual within the body, the way that they conduct themselves, you know, they could they could uh they could lead a brother astray, man. Yep. You know, they could spoil the bunch, little leaven leaven at the whole lump. So if you got wickedness in the camp, man, it, yep. it has to be purged. That's another reason why not everybody's allowed to fellowship, man. Yep, and then, like they say in the world, one bad apple spoils the bunch. Yep. You know, if you have a if you have a nigga, if you have a say say you have a daughter and you and she's friends with a hoe, 
or a prostitute. Next thing you know, your daughter is going is going to become that. Yep. So that's the same way it is, you know, uh, within the body. You know, if you, if you have some moldy bread and you put it next to some other bread that's fresh, you leave that there for a couple of days. That that other bread that's around it is going to catch that mold too. Yep. You know, that's right, bro. Hey, I got a precept. This is um Hebrews thirteen and. Want me to read it for you? Oh, Bible Shaw. Hebrews thirteen. Yep. And 15? Yep. Alright, this is um, Hebrews 13 and verse. Uh, I'm going to start at 14. Cool. Yeah, yeah. For, cool. for here, for here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Right. But him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to Yahweh Shemal Shai continually. That is the fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name. Yeah, so that's what we ought to do, man. You know, we get the sacrifice to Yahweh Shemashai, the praise to the Lord continually, man. You know, and, and as well, giving thanks to the name of Yahweh Shemashai. That's a part of the fruit of our lips, man. So that, that's the that's the real communication that should be coming forth from us, man. You know, uh, let us praise in the name of the Lord, but also walking it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like the brother brought out earlier, he that name is the name of Mashiach, let him depart from iniquity, man. So if you're gonna praise the name of the Lord, make sure that you're walking uprightly too. You know, the scriptures say praise is not comely from a sin, uh, is not comely of a sinner, roughly paraphrasing, man. So, the Lord don't want no wicked nigga praising him, man, because he ain't really about that life, man. Right. You say you sitting here and giving glory to the Lord, but you living like a demon, yeah. you know? And, and like the brother brought up, verse 14, here we have no continuing city, man. You know, so that's another, that's another thing about fellowship. When you're amongst the brothers, it's like you're in the kingdom, mm -hmm. you know? So, so it is a kingdom. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Within, That's yeah. right. You know, it, it, like the like Chris say, we are as a spiritual house, man. Lively stones built of a spiritual house. So, when you're amongst the brothers, you, you're pretty much like in the kingdom, man. That is it's true. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't got to be in the kingdom, you know, to go outside and see gold. You know uh, what I'm saying? You with the brothers, it's like a mindset, right? You know, you ain't thinking about. You ain't thinking about women. You ain't thinking about nothing. You yep. just you just in tune with the spirit. With the spirit, come. Yep. Hey, the, Lord, the, Lord gifted, the Lord gifted us the kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. Us physically being in the kingdom is just going to be that much better. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But like, you know, my crib, it ain't the best crib, you know, but we be enjoying ourselves, you in know, even in this uh, piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So how much more in the kingdom? Shit. You know? Hey, uh, you're right, brother. I feel you on that, man. Because the kingdom starts with this knowledge. Yep. You know, it's going to say, therefore, if your delight be in thrones and scepters, honor, wisdom, that you may reign forever more, man. Yep. You know, so, so so the reason why I'm bringing that out through the Spirit is because Babylon, we have no continuous city in Babylon. Yep. Babylon taught us not to be brotherly. Babylon taught us to, I can do it on my own. I don't need nobody help or, you know, just be that type of nigga, man. But but Yahweh Shemeshiah is teaching us to, to fellowship, to be brotherly. You know, to, 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 because, hey, when you're around the brethren and you're looking out for the body, man, you're in the mindset of a king. You're nation building, man. You know, fellowshipping with the brothers, holding counsel. That's, that's, the, we're really doing kingly things, man. You know, but we're just, we're just in poverty. Okay. The, we're, we're, ser we're the, the servants are riding the horses and the princes are walking on earth, man. You know, right now we're in a low estate, but really we're kings, man. Through the spirit power, Yahweh Shai. And it all starts with this wisdom, man. So. That's another reason why you want to come around the brethren, man. You, it's, it's like you're in the king's court, right. you know. Yeah, it's like if you had. Uh, you, you know oh, keep going on now. Okay, fine. Hey, man, that's what we gotta do, man. You know, so keep fellowship, man. Fine, uh, Hebrews thirteen and read fifteen again. But him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai continually. That is the fruit of our lips. Give thanks to His name, but to do good and to communicate, forget not. For for with such sacrifices, the Most High is well pleased. That's it, man. So to do good and to communicate, forget not, man. And when you go into that word communicate in the blue letter, Hebrews thirteen and sixteen. All right. So Mark you. And the word communicate Strong's G twenty-eight forty two. Strong's G twenty-eight forty two. Koinonia. Koinonia. It says fellowship, association, community, communion, joint participation. Okay? Uh, and it says intercourse, but through the spirit, you know, 
we're when we when we fellowship with the Lord's spirit, you know, the Lord is the wisdom is technically our woman, and vice versa, we're the Lord's woman. So it's it's not necessarily a carnal intercourse, man. It's a spiritual intercourse. Okay, verse uh, uh, says the share which one has in anything participation, you know, intercourse, fellowship, intimacy, and it says the right hand as a sign and pledge of fellowship and fulfilling the apostolic office, you know. So that's the point. You know what I'm saying? It really goes back to fellowship, man. Forget not to uh, communicate. Communicate meaning the fellowship. All right, and that's another thing too. You also don't want to forget communication with brothers, man. You know, you should be reporting in, telling brothers about you know things that's going on within the camp, and also you know if it, if, it, if it's necessary things that are going on with you. Okay, you don't necessarily want to tell the brothers all your problems. Okay, because some things you just have to bear. You have to uh, 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 drink of that cup. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want to be you know, overly burdening a brother with your issues, man, okay? But at the same time, you know, you do want to uh, report to brothers, man. It's, you also don't want to be uh, completely closed off. You don't tell a brother anything about your life, man. Not that brothers are, like, interrogating you or want to be, like, spies and know all about you, but, you know, you should know the man that's standing next to you on the highways and byways, man. You know, it's only right, okay? You know, because at the end of the day, Brothers have to have that confidence within themselves too that, okay, I know this brother got my best interest at heart. I know this brother got my best interest at heart. You know, because that's how you do, that's how you do the work of Yahweh Shemeshah efficiently, man. You know, you got to know that. You got to know the, the brethren that are around you, man. The scriptures say to take heed and watch over the flock. So that's another reason why you got to know brothers who are around you, because you got to know who might be a potential danger to the flock, man. You know? But that's all Jake really had. You know? So, we, hey, we're going to close out with that. All right, Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel was edified. And we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakagash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that are laboring in this work in all truth and sincerity. I want to say Shalom to you, brothers. And also, we want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children. That I believe in and that serve the Lord to the best of their ability. I want to say shalom in the water of Yahweh Shemel Shai for giving us the Holy Spirit to come together and make this lesson. Lord willing, until the next lesson, we're going to say shalom and a ball for ball. Shalom, shalom.